Howdy folks, how are y'all doing? This is Reese or Brush It Cub, and welcome back to our Tech It Let's Play adventure. And as you may or may not remember, in the last episode, we worked on our little storage area here, a little Emmy storage system, whatever you want to call it. And uh, I actually had to go back and add a couple more drives. So if we look in here, you'll see I added another 4K drive, and then I added a 16K drive, and wow, does that add a lot of storage. And I've got almost everything stored in here. It's pretty convenient so far. I mean, I really like having it all in one place. But I know that it can get better, and it can get better by making it wireless. And we're going to do that by building a couple of things in this episode. First, though, let's focus on something that you guys showed me in the comments of the last video. We don't actually have to... Let me create a storage disk thingy right here. We don't actually have to go throw one of these in the assembly table. There's actually another way to do it. If we if we wanted to so if we hop back real fast let me show y'all if we go into right here we can click over and as you can see we can actually make a basic processor assembly and smelt it in order to do that you just take gold redstone silicon and a quartz cutting knife so the recipe is a bit different and it's just a lot easier you don't have to use the assembly table the quartz cutting knife was really easy to make and this is actually how I ended up making the the, the last two storage drives and the 14 really look or the 16 I guess really looked complicated when we were looking at it last time but it's actually pretty simple you know once you once you get the hang of it so anyway in this episode <clears throat> please excuse my lingering side effects of sickness uh, in this episode we're gonna be creating a wireless access system for this so we can actually access all this stuff from upstairs and in order to do that we're gonna need to just type in wireless here because I forget what we need we need a wireless access point and then we're going to need our wireless access terminal. And so let's see, which one of these should we start with? Let's go ahead and start with the terminal. And for that, we're going to need an access terminal and a wireless receiver. And then the wireless receiver is this anchor looking thing here, which is iron, a stick, and a fluix pearl, which is going to be, oh goodness. Okay, fluix dust, a fluix crystal, and an ender pearl. What is fluix crystal? Okay, both kinds of quartz and redstone. How many of those do we need? One, two, three, four. All right, I say let's just go ahead and search this thing for what we what we need. Do we have anything from Ender? Nothing from the world of Ender. All right, so we're gonna need our Minium Stone. And what what do we what do we use to make? Is it? I think it might be iron. We might as well grab all the iron while we're down here. <clears throat> we're also going to need a stick, so might as well grab that while we're down here. Since it's all conveniently located. Okay, a stick, some iron, some fluix dust. Do we have any of that left over? We have <clears throat> five fluix dust left over. How much do we need though? We're gonna need four pieces of it and then, okay. Curtis, okay, both types of crystal and some redstone. Redstone. both kinds of quartz and what else while I'm down here you know just just looking around what else do I need I think that's it actually all right <clears throat> now for the terminal we're gonna need to make an access terminal as well which is gonna need glass iron and this stuff so let's grab glass first oops my keyboard is in a peculiar position and I'm not I'm not quite sure what I'm hitting when I hit buttons we need to make some more glass I think also going to need, oh goodness. All right, well, you know what? Let's focus on this one step at a time. Let's get this thing built first. So let's head upstairs. Whoops, overshot it. First things first, let's go ahead and create an ender pearl. There's going to be minium stone and four iron. All right. Got that. Then after that, we need to <coughs> create the Fluix Crystals, and we need four of those. All right. There we go. So there's our Fluix Pearl, and then there's our wireless receiver. Fantastic. All right, so we got that out of the way. Now we need to build an ME access terminal. So we've got all of this stuff. What we need to do is build an ME cable, though, which is Fluix dust and more, uh, more glass than we currently have. So let's put a few pieces of glass in there. 14 how to do it get that going and then do we have enough we do not have enough fluids dust so how do we go about making that 
Nether quartz. Okay, I can manage that. We need to go back to that stairs and get more grinded up pieces of quartz. Which we happen to have quite a bit of both. Alright. And you know what? We're going to need to make at some point. We're going to need our quartz cutting knife because we're going to have to make a basic processor, which means we're also going to need redstone, gold, and silicon. So let's grab that while we're down here. We already got the redstone, so we need silicon. And we'll need gold. And this is getting fairly compl complicated, but it's actually really simple at the same time because it's, it's a contradiction of itself. <laughs> It's simple and complicated. Right, so let's see. Is the glass done? Yes, 14 pieces of glass. Do, 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 do. do I just have the... No, I don't have the... Rest. Oh, right, I need to make the dust. And since I don't really use this dust for anything else, might as well go ahead and make as many of them as I can. Boom. Cables. Fantastic. Alright, so there's that part out. And now we just need to build this thing. Which means I need to build this thing. There we go. So we take that and we throw it into the furnace. And it's cooking away, baby. Cooking away. Boom. There's our processor. So see, it's a lot easier than having to go throw it all down there into the Duma Flopper thing, who, which name escapes me. There we go, and then it's just the two of these together makes our wireless access terminal. Now we have to link this with our system downstairs. So we go downstairs and we go up to the ME controller, right click on the controller, put the access terminal in there, and boom, you see now it says it's linked. So we can use that, or can we? No, we can't because there's no signal because we don't have a wireless access terminal. Which takes us to step two of this build. And goodness gracious, we ended up with a lot of stuff in our inventory. All right, an ME wireless access point. Another wireless receiver, another cable. All right, so pretty pretty straightforward. We can manage this, I think. Let's get downstairs. We're going to need another Ender Pearl. Oops, whoa, crazy. All right, there's that. And then we're going to need more Fluix Crystals. Oh, goodness, we don't actually have enough Nether Quartz for that. Can I create... A crystal by putting the dust? I didn't think so. Um, hmm. Is there another creative way to make crystal? I wonder. <clears throat> nope. Looks like we're actually going to have to go and get it. Gosh darn it. Into the nether! Oh, goodness gracious. What is up with you chilling in my portal, bro? Ain't cool. I don't approve. Right, so there's what we need right there. The most abundant thing in the nether. Not nether rack. No, nether quartz. And in fact, there should be more right down here. There always is. There's always so much of it just lying around, just waiting to be, waiting to be mined out. Oh, it's fantastic. Is that all of it? I think I, that's all I really need. I think I only needed four pieces, and now I have six, so we're good. Head back to the real world, or the overworld, I guess. Flight control makes moving around very difficult. <laughs> oh, man. Completely overshot where I was headed. Okay. Well, we're making this thing, which requires these. There we go. Got the four of those. That thing. This thing. And then, oh, just a whole bunch of random components here. Iron glass, another ME cable, which we already made. Oops. Oh, no. I didn't mean to do that. Gah. It's okay. Okay. And then the, the wireless receiver will give us a wireless access thing. And if I'm not mistaken, I can just throw this anywhere onto the machine. We'll throw it in over here next to the, the drives. Although well, I don't think it matters. And now we should just be able to, to right-click if it works. And yes! Yes, it does work! Ladies and gentlemen, we have success! So does this work anywhere in the house? I wonder what the range on this is. Okay, apparently that's too far. But right here you get signal. 
So that's great. So it looks like just about anywhere we are in the house, maybe not on the roof. Maybe on the roof? Nope, not on the roof. But up here where we do all of our crafting and stuff, all we have to do is flip over to this thing, right click, and we have access to all of our items. And I wonder if we can throw things in here from here too. Apparently we can. So it creates uh, an easy way to what? Oh, did I? Huh? Did I get that out of? I guess I got that from killing that dude in the nether. So yeah, so now we have a really easy and simple way to to access all of our stuff from anywhere in the house. And that is pretty cool. Let me get back down here. Is there anything else we need to add to this sucker? If you can think of anything else we should add. And it doesn't require more than a single sentence to tell me. Because some people were writing paragraphs of stuff and I'm just like, what? I don't understand. I don't, I mean, what do you want me to build? Because there's so much to this mod. I mean, if you just type in ME space, you get all sorts of things here. An assembly, assembler, containment wall, well, a wall, heat vent, crafting CPU. I mean, I don't know what half of this stuff does. So, I mean, if there's something that you want me to build, let me know. I mean, what's a, cra what's a monitor do? I don't. Way over at my head. Way too complicated for my simple brain. I barely figured this one out here. And I mean, it doesn't get much simpler than this. But yeah, so there you go, guys. Thank y'all for watching. I know this episode was a bit short, and I'm sorry about that. But I just I just kind of wanted to focus on this wireless thing, because I think it's really cool. And it's going to save us a lot of time here in the future, not having to go dig around through a whole bunch of different chests. Why is this stuff not in there yet? Hold on. Right. Into here you go. And I mean, we don't have to go look at... <coughs> coughing. Don't have to go looking around for stuff anymore. It's just all in one easy, convenient place. Just open up our, our little inventory thing here and bam! All this cool stuff. I wonder if there's a way to extend the wireless range. If there is, let me know. That'd be pretty cool too. But alright, alright. Uh, enough of that. I think it's time for me to call it fare thee well. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you all in the next episode. Bye!